What is up YouTube? And welcome to yeah another podcast. Just chilling in isolation as you do, you know, Netflix and quarantine, whatever you want to call it. Between that and Call of Duty and my own videos have been pretty busy. Been pretty busy as a as a month or two months the last two months really. I've been busy. Um, but yeah, the last few days hit 100 subscribers. Um, got a comment from a famous YouTuber, um, which I'll talk about oh, later on in another video. But it's just another podcast. use my DSLR camera but this was right here and I'm currently uploading a vlog so what better way to pass the time than have a chat with my loyal fans or 100 of you and that's been two years three years in the making um, I remember times when I had like 15 maybe 20 subscribers and only get one more and get really excited and I kept going and going until now but for a while it was a bit stagnant and like 50 at some point around there it was stuck and I didn't think I'd get any more but you know here we are at 100 um, can't really say I never expected this but I didn't think I'd be on YouTube still or bothering this much or maybe I thought I would have found something else through this or gain like another opportunity but um, I realise that that's not really the sole purpose of this and as I've done it year after year I've kind of learned that and that it's more about me as a person growing that's what this channel is and it doesn't have to lead to anything else do you know what I mean it might do skills I've acquired here I could use in other fields, in other places but for now it's just YouTube especially now everyone's in self-isolation what else is there to do really? I've got merch that I want to sell I'll be setting that up when the time is right at the moment it's not ideal but yeah hopefully that'll be up and running soon there's no point at the moment, but I like the merch, I might just keep it for myself. I haven't even properly looked at it yet. Still in the packaging. You know, don't want to ruin it. It's exciting times. Busy times. Maybe not made as much videos as like I thought I did, I would. But here we are. And I want to spend a lot more time making videos this week compared to last week. So I was just enjoying the weather more more so than editing or making videos but what is wrong with that? Nothing and let's keep going really between that and Call of Duty but I'm not into the gaming anymore in terms of live streams I haven't done one of them in a while I don't know, it's just like something I don't feel like doing at the moment so, welcome back guys. It's a new day, a different day, carrying on with the podcast. Now, I had a thought. Um, thanks to another YouTuber that I watch regularly, who used to vlog, and now started like a podcast, radio style, like visual show, if you know what I mean. So, basically, he does it in the form of a podcast, and he plays music uh, in between him talking. Like a radio show. Yeah? Um, and so I had, kind of had that idea, but from what he said, there's a lot of copyright issues that come up with playing mainstream music. Um, I don't really want to, well, I, I thought, what a great idea, but I don't really want to copy his style directly. Um, but so today, just a normal podcast. But that is an idea that's been going through my head 
recently and yeah, yesterday we clapped for carers and NHS workers and doctors for the third week in a row. Uh, this time we had the pots and pans out in the street. Next time, getting the speaker out there, just playing some music. Like, you know, because they're doing a good job. But us all standing in the street, to some level, is contradicting everything. Like, I've seen some people literally all on the pavement outside their doors, closer than two meters. Like, come on. Like, you're thanking them, but you're the one causing the problem. Well, not directly, it's just me saying that, whether that's true or not. And yeah, Trump hates the World Health Organization now. He's blaming them for, well, instead of blaming himself, he's blaming them for it. For all the acting late and all this. And China, and China, as he says. Um, but yeah, no, just another podcast, don't know how many I've done now. Do excuse the background noise, mum's in the kitchen, cooking as usual. And yeah, it's been difficult juggling free time. And, well, it hasn't, but between that, everyone being at home and doing the videos hasn't been easy. It's quite funny, like, we, we keep to ourselves. My dad and my brother are in the garden most of the time, fixing or doing DIY or fixing something or painting something. And I'm here making videos or gaming or making content of some kind or keeping in touch with my friends via like FaceTime and stuff. Though one of my friends, her phone's kind of broken, so like, that's annoying, like, because they're in Italy, there's no other way to communicate, really. Obviously nowadays you can't communicate with anyone other than over the phone, really. We just go outside, get, just get like a six foot pole, and just poke people, I like, can talk to them at a distance. No. Um, Strange times we're living in, and everyone being at home is weird for my channel. Like I've realised that live streaming and gaming is really difficult now because people are just in and out and all all over the place. I can't focus really. I mean, when I play Call of Duty, I want like a solid hour or two where I can just play the game properly and not have to act funny or say anything. You know, just play the game after doing like vlogs all day or podcasts in this case. But I'm trying to keep it relaxed. And like I was saying at the beginning, like seeing other stars of podcasting, radio style of 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 podcasting if you like. Where it's like a radio show. I've seen other YouTubers doing that now and it's giving me ideas, but the whole the general idea from the vlogs I the podcast I saw was like um, the relaxed feeling you get from it. You wanna relax and watch a podcast. And half the time I'm just ranting and raving about political things, you know. And so I just want to keep it basic, I don't know. Light hearted. Because I've got too much heavy stuff going on in the world right now. But yeah, I do want to make more content in terms of gaming. Just don't know when the timing is right. Um, probably Call of Duty. Or Fortnite, I got Fortnite again because of my friends forcing me to. They twisted my arm into getting it. And it's not as good as it was back in the day. The original version, the earlier versions. Now there's just too much going on in that game. It's not as simple as it used to be. And you might see that at some point. Whether I'm going to do a live stream or like record it and then edit it and all that, I don't know. But we'll see might go back to GTA because that game you can occupy yourself for hours you know just drive around the map and stuff and get in fights with other people <laughs> but no to be honest I've been outside most of, most days and the thing that's really been getting to me is the upload time on these videos is just terrible <laughs> beyond belief like my 100 sub celebration video I made that on what, what two days ago now and it's Friday and I finally uploaded it because I tried to do it yesterday and it kind of failed and the day, well, and the day before I can't even remember, it's all a blur but it failed like halfway through and then everyone was moaning and the internet was crap so I thought I'd stop it and wait till everyone's gone to bed and then upload it and I did and it's done so yeah I'm gonna, up, I'm gonna I've scheduled that to upload at 8 so I'm going to upload it at 8. 
8.15, something like that. I want to do a regular time of uploading. Even if I got a video done and made in the past, I've just straight away uploaded it as soon as possible, regardless of time. And yeah, I had like a pattern early on when it was like, it was at least three or four vlogs, or more than that a week. Like it'd be solid from from like Tuesdays till or Mondays or Tuesdays that it was, till like a Saturday I'd be making videos and then in between uploading, editing, you know, editing and uploading video for the next day and vice versa and so on. Um, but now it's just like whenever. Since we've been in self-isolation, it's probably been a week, I'd say, in a week I'd do, I'm do. i doing two videos and a podcast. Um, well, before I was kind of doing maybe three and then the, the gaming as well up until all this happened, like earlier this year, like January, February, when I was hibernating, if you like. Now, I mean, in, in the winter I get ill so easily, so it's just like spending a lot of time indoors anyway. So this is kind of going to ruin what is spring and soon to be summer. You know, hopefully not. But, you know, uh, it's something like unprecedented, like something no one's ever lived through this kind of thing or like been around when this has happened, if you know what I mean. Like this is going down in history, but who cares about history? Because it's not a very nice thing to remember, but just be, you'd be like telling your grandkids, I was there in the time of Corona. You couldn't even shake hands or hug anyone, whether that's going to come back. But for some people, they're like, oh, the world will never be back to normal, and I kind of agree. But in some ways, it might be better. Like, we're aware of how easily viruses can tra transmit from person to person, diseases like this. So we're aware of that stuff, yeah. Obviously, we've lost people, we're losing people every day. That's not the good part. But, I mean, we're going to learn from it as, as a as a human race, as people, and the economy's messed up, that's gone, like, I don't know what's more scary for some people, the economy, because they're losing their jobs, sole traders are losing their businesses as we speak, um, so my parents themselves are quite worried about their business because half their clients are like over a certain age, so half of them are probably dead by now, <laughs> or on the way out, you know. If they didn't get corona. Even if they got corona, definitely, you know. That's another story. But um half of them of an age that are dying off. Like in the last twenty years. <laughs> where 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 they were old twenty years ago, they're still old now. I don't know, we've got to get some new customers in. But now as business goes the world's messed up, the economy's gone. But are they more worried about that or actually getting corona? I think the economy, but me personally, like thriving and surviving, basically. Um, you know, hard enough it is before staying healthy. Then I say keep fit, stay healthy. I've never technically been healthy, like for my condition, yeah. But in general, I'm not. I wouldn't say that. You know, I'm gonna go for a run around the block, am I? <laughs> yeah, get your exercise. I'm not allowed out of the house for twelve weeks, guys. Like. It's affecting a lot of older people who certain things they rely on, like my grandma, for example, she doesn't do online banking, obviously, maybe some grandmas do high tech grandmas, but she like does the old method of banking, so technically she needs to go to the bank obviously my my uncle helped her with that, but you know what I mean people who haven't got family, they haven't got people around them to help them, their community are their neighbors, people down the road, you know in my street we've got a whatsapp group because um, there's people that help all the older people and bring them stuff that, when they can't because they can't go out so yeah it's interesting and feeling a lot closer as, as a community like this street um, <laughs> it's weird people getting close to their neighbours like people they've never spoken to before and so in that sense people are further away but they're a lot becoming a lot kinder a lot of nasty people out there at the moment too People that want to take advantage of you and have your money or something uh, by some scam or another. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell. Is it that hard to tell apart those people? But it's bringing the best out of people and the worst 
I'll tell you that. <laughs> but yeah, in this house, as long as we all keep our distance from each other, um, then we're probably not going to argue that much. At some point we will, and we'll probably... Well, we have already, but um, that's normal. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just keep doing our own thing during the day. At night, we all convene in the living room, if you know what I mean. Watch a bit of film or something. Series, in this case, Walking Dead. Which is... Well, I've seen it already, but... It's, like, perfect for this kind of thing we're living in. Well, it's not... It's good and it's bad for the situation we're living in. Because it makes you think, like, shit, what if it actually went that way? Like, we're, like, we're struggling... Actually struggling for food and survival. We're not. People are getting, gaining weight in this time. I'm eating a lot better. A lot more. Getting a roll under my chin, which I'm not enjoying. Looking at in the mirror. But, um... What can you do? It's not that bad. I watch Walking Dead and it makes me feel more like, okay, we're, we're fine. We've not got zombies to kill. We've not zombies attacking us at every minute of the day. So we're good, we're good. In that sense, we're good. Or are we? <laughs> no, it makes you appreciate what you've got. And then it's just fun to watch something take your mind off things, even though the way it is, it kind of makes you think about this kind of thing because it's started as a virus that spread and they want to turn to zombies, you know. It's just a series. But I've convinced my parents to watch it somehow. At times they're like, oh, I don't like this. And any time there's a gory bit, mum leaves the room. It's like, nah. It's interesting, I mean, in Italy, they've been locked down a lot longer than we have and they're extending it there too. I think because people wouldn't follow the rules. I know people personally who haven't exactly followed the rules. So, thank you. You know what I mean? That's really annoying. And that sound is too. But yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to change the style of podcasting or just talk about whatever. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but I know I'm going to get copyright. I just, I don't know. I've done a radio show in the past when I was at uni. And uh, part of that was in my 100 sub celebration video and I hope you've enjoyed that, if you haven't seen that do go and see that on my channel, Louisey21 I'm on TikTok as well and Instagram you'll see that either at the end of this podcast or at the end of any other video at the beginning I remind you of all my platforms that I'm on TikTok included everyone is on TikTok, everyone I know seems to be on TikTok in some way or another I was there first you know what I mean? No, but it is addictive, TikTok. So many repetitive memes about quarantine and self-isolation and corona, which I'm fed up. Well, I don't know. Some of them are funny, but I just get fed up with the basic ones. Um, and you've got the beer challenge. People down in pints of beer. I want to do it, but with like 10 shots or 5 shots of like tequila, vodka or any other drink I can get my hands on. Because it's solving all these problems. Okay. Do you mind? Thank you. And that is the wonder of being at home with your family, guys. Playing music all the time. The odd video, the odd meme always comes up. But yeah. Clap for carers, we're doing that every week now. Uh, I think it's a, a regular thing now. When I f we first did it, I was like, that's a one off. And that's surely a ploy by Boris just to get the NHS on his side because in the past he hasn't been too kind to them. And he was probably going to privatise a lot of it if this didn't happen. And yeah, let's not get too political. Like Trump, like, don't, don't get me started. But yeah, there's no one on the streets. From what I've seen, I haven't been out there, you know. I was at the door to clap for the NHS and everyone. Apart from that, no. And I hope my 12 weeks isn't increased. Then I just want to see what it's like out there in this ghost town. Like, I want to vlog it too. Like, I would have loved to, at the beginning, before they actually put the lockdown in for vulnerable people, I was like, okay, I'm going out on the streets, man. Get my mask, get my gloves. I'm going to vlog this. It's going to be amazing.
But what I do have to vlog is the clap for carers and NHS workers and whoever next week. I have to do that because that'll be interesting. Um, and yeah, I've been contemplating doing more like Instagram lives. I did a few few years back. I used to do Instagram live sometimes on my YouTube um, Instagram page, like for the for this channel. I have got two. I got my personal one and the actual Louise Twenty One official Instagram. Go follow me there. Um, so yeah, I was doing a few live streams, like whatever you call it, Instagram live. And I'm thinking of just doing one on my normal as me, like. It's still me, like Louise Twenty One or John Luca. It's still me, but like it's different. I don't know. I'm different when I'm on here, as opposed to like real. Everyone is, as opposed to real life. Some things you hold back, and some things you don't. In different things, you know what I mean. I don't know. I swear a lot more in real life. Uh, I don't seem to swear on here, which is weird. But I always remember that on another YouTuber I used to watch, a vlogger. Used to say, imagine like. When you when you're in front of the camera, imagine like you're talking to an an adult or a parent or one of your parents or someone like in terms of how you speak. So you know, don't be swearing all the time. Even like even if my videos aren't for kids, like I'm not gonna swear that much. Like it doesn't, you know, it's not com it's not a comedy bit where where swearing does sometimes help. But if you're not funny, you're not funny. But that's a different story altogether. Like I mean, when it comes to my live streaming, I can be funny, but I'm focused on the game too. Otherwise, I'd be crap at the game. Like it's, it's hard to make the choice, and there's very few people who are good at both. Like, well, Ninja's good at both, but like, he just annoys me. His voice annoys me. Like, I can't watch those videos. I can't watch. I can't watch your live stream. That's why I haven't been making many recently. I realise like, if it's more than an hour, like, you watch a bit here and there. I mean, the only live stream. They're not really live streams, but. Gaming videos I do watch are probably the, the side men ones with KSI and his whole group of misfit well they're not misfits because they're all bloody loaded but they're like they're pretty much into gaming especially thick um, if you know that world of YouTube or not or I'm just chatting gibberish but yeah our garden is looking brand new with all the work my dad and my brother are doing they're really keeping busy at one point at some point they're going to run out of work to do. You know, they're going to annoy me. But yeah, just do our own thing. and I might do that Instagram live like later today or after this. But I've been addicted to Netflix. Obviously, Tiger King has been everywhere. I don't want to talk about it. Don't ask me. I don't care anymore. Um, but yeah, she did kill her husband. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin, whatever he calls her, <laughs> did kill her husband. But if you keep watching TikTok, that... That remix of the Carol Baskin song will will haunt you. Like Joe Exotic voice just winds me up like proper cowboy. Jesus, what's the world come to with this Tiger King? Man. He's not really a king of tigers. I heard that he's actually really scared of tigers. And the bit when he was in the cage, yeah. one of the tigers that was in the cage was blind. One was half tranquilized, so a bit all over the place. So he wasn't really in danger, so, but he is actually scared of big cats. So you can't really call him Tiger King. Unfortunately, Yeah. So Tiger King is... It's one of them shows, like, that is really addictive and they will become famous. But I said I was addicted to Netflix, but really Money Heist is the one I've been watching. Which everyone in Italy loves. And it's called... In Italian it's called House of Cards. Well, in Spanish, it's House of Paper, but it's called Money Heist, and that is on Netflix as well. It's they're like robbing banks and stuff. It's pretty cool though. There's a lot of twists and character plots and developments and people turning on each other, but it's definitely worth a watch. Even well, I've been I started watching it like the in English, if you know what I mean. It's originally in Spanish, so someone's translated it to English. I was watching it in English, um, but that's like annoying because you don't get the real sense of the characters. And then I started watching it in Spanish with English subtitles, and I hate subtitles, but I did watch Narcos like that. Um, so I was watching it, and yeah, you 
Guys, I'll tell you what though. You don't know how much I hate it when this camera just goes off. The batteries are just knackered. I don't know what's going on with this. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, Netflix, Money Heist, do give it a watch. And probably watch it in Spanish with English subtitles. Because when you watch it in English, like you can see their lips moving and the sound coming out after, it's like very annoying. It, it, it's not ideal. But yeah, so Netflix, if it wasn't addictive before it is now, and I mean, who's not on Netflix? Who's not watching it at some point? And that's probably why all the Wi-Fi is so slow. Like to upload the video is just a nightmare for me now. And this will, this will probably be out in a week from now, not more than that. Uh, the way things are going, the amount of time it takes to upload, I have to leave it overnight, probably Saturday night or something. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, I've, I've been not on YouTube as much as I normally am. That's normally an addiction. But in terms of watching other YouTubers, watch the odd Logan Paul podcast, or a Joe Rogan one from time to time, which are, are the best, by the way. And yeah, I try not to watch too much news, but in the evening sometimes you can't help it. Or through Twitter or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to like, you can't really treat it like a holiday, it's not a holiday. But like, when if you start enjoying something, you're like, guilty that there's people suffering out there and you're doing that, but don't, like, uh, because you're saving lives by staying at home, really. Like, it's a bit repetitive, isn't it? Like, why say it? But I might as well, I'm here, you know. Not going to mention the big C, the C word. But yeah, there's things that people are doing to take their mind off it, but still have to be aware of what's going on, or the, 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 the risk. And you kind of forget that when you're closed at home, in your house, in your garden, if you've got one all going on your one walk a day. You know, um, it's not, if you go for one walk a day, you could, you could go for a 50 mile walk around the block. You could do that, do that like 80 times, and that's fine. It's a one walk, you know. Um, people are getting fined if they are on their second walk or something, or taking a mick, or taking deck chairs down to the park, like I've seen some people doing. Like, I'm not trying to grass anyone out here, but I'm sacrificing a lot to be at home, a lot of people are, so. Some people just don't get it. But I mean, when we go back to normal, will we ever go back to normal? The world? I don't know. Like I said, it might be better for some things, and worse in other ways. Um, but yeah, they can't get rid of hugging, and handshaking, and fist bumps. We need that human interaction. It's what makes us human, really. Going down the pub, having a laugh with your mates, getting drunk, and then getting pizza at three in the morning, or wherever you eat at three in the morning. Um, I miss it, yeah. Not probably missing it yet, but I do miss the pub, by like in general. I'm not feeling trapped though. I mean, I can understand if you're living on your own or with one other person, it might be more like that. More annoying. But, um, but what can you do? Some people are literally alone, so that one hour walk is the only human interaction they get other than FaceTime or WhatsApp or whatever else they use. But I find myself taking my time a lot more. Like, if I've got something to do, I'll take my time with editing and stuff. Because I know I've got time every day, you know. Like, before it was more of a mad rush. I don't know, just life is like that. And now it's just like, you, you're at home, I mean, you've got all these, like, distractions, but you can't leave the house, that's the thing. So that's the only, the main difference. And I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm getting used to it. I'm going a bit mental at the same time because it's a bit eat, sleep, repeat kind of like repetitive. I'm trying to break each day up, doing different things. Like I said in the past, like on an hourly or two hourly basis, change up what you're doing, do something different. Um, but one thing that helps all the time is music. 
Uh, music is good and bad, but in this time, it's helping a lot of people. Certain songs are just ironic, and then all, all the remixes are at, around it they use to take the mick out of this virus. <laughs> Quite funny, really. Um, laughing out of a serious situation. How? But that's human nature, isn't it? When things are really tough, that's when you're more likely to have more banter sometimes. I don't know. Like, the world in general. I mean, it's no joke, but if you can't laugh, what, what are you going to do? I mean, I, I always heard that if you can't laugh at yourself, what are you doing? You know, if you can't take the mick out of yourself, how can you find anything funny? Um, Self-deprecating, that's all, whatever it's, whatever it's called. Um, but don't put yourself down at the same time. Like, I feel guilty that I'm not putting out more videos. Because at the beginning I did promise that. And yeah, I've reached 100 subscribers and... Yet... It doesn't feel like it, I don't know. Feels like, well, I've still got a lot of work to do. 100's not that many. It is an achievement and a milestone. And I'm grateful to be here for all of you. But I want to take it further, I want to go more. Like, even if it was, like, uh, someone's got a million, right? They want more still. They go for more. Look at PewDiePie get 100 million. He, he could have stopped at, what, 50 million or something. And said, that's it, I'm done. But no, because he enjoys it that much. I mean, I'm not making money off this. No one's making money in this crisis. And no one will for a long time, but... It's getting you guys through it, I hope. It's kind of getting me through it too, keeping me sane. Someone to talk to other than family, like face to face, if you like, to a lens, but yeah. Or FaceTiming people. And yeah, most people I'm FaceTiming are in Italy and, or around the world, like Germany in some cases. Um, they seem, some of them seem really down, some of them really upbeat, it's just everyone's different. Obviously, people down south. In Italy, some of them not following the rules, pissing me off because we're sacrificing everything here to follow the rules when we could easily break them. Everyone could, like, it's so simple to stay at home, but is it really that simple? As I was saying before I got interrupted, again, um, people, it's hard to deal with your own thoughts and yourself to be with yourself. Like, so that's why I'm grateful that I've got family around me at home, I'd also go mental. And, yeah, it's difficult, people, the hardest thing to do is deal with your own thought process and your own thoughts and, like, not be around other people. It, yeah, you can FaceTime people, but, like, it's not the same. As good as it is, it's still not the same. And, for, like, if I'm not complaining and losing my mind slightly, uh, like, that's not normal. For me to not be going crazy in this time. I'm not saying I'm going crazy, but... Like, you know what I mean? If, if you say you're not... You're the odd one out, because everyone's supposed to be going crazy. Like... It is preventing a lot, but I can still... Do what I love. Talk to you guys. Make videos, edit, you know. Game. It's all there. It, it's all things I've got access to, but... Outside the house, no. That's it. It sounds simple, but it's not. But yeah, I've got so much going through my head all the time on a normal day. Like, you know. So I'm not always just thinking about videos. Like the other day, I just admitted to myself that, okay, today you run out of ideas. For this week, you go again next week. I seem to never actually run out of ideas for more than a week. I have another idea and other stuff to talk about with you guys on my conscience, you know empty all the rubbish out of your brain well most of it, some of it, like I wouldn't tell anyone but everyone's got their thought processes and things that are in their head that they don't really want to talk about with anyone good and bad stuff and stuff that's just downright stupid that like, there's no point in me even worrying about or thinking about because I read somewhere that like Compared, boys compared to girls, I'm not saying about intelligence, I'm saying in general, think over things too much, boys be over, we'd be overthinking the simplest things, like 
say you're in a relationship, you, you upset your girlfriend for some reason, and not that I know about this, um, but say you do, um, and then you're, you're questioning yourself, what did I do wrong, what did I do, did I do this, that, um, when maybe on the other side, they might not feel, think about it on that level, or overthink it, just look at it simply. Um, as guys would just be over, will overthink something simple, like to the point where you go crazy but you don't need to, something that's pointless. Um, and they say when it comes to like heartbreak, girl, boys actually get affected more. I don't know if that's true, I don't know if I agree with that, but yeah. In some cases what I've seen from friends, um, yeah. But just because you're not in a relationship doesn't mean you haven't had a heartbreak. Like me personally, I know that. Um, so I'm speaking from experience at that point. And boys, we do ever think things when we wouldn't even phase a girl necessarily. I'm not saying that all the time. It, it's the opposite sometimes. Um, because as boys, we, we can be selfish too and not think things through and just act. I'm not saying like that girls do that more or less, but I'm just saying we overthink things. So in my head, there's a lot going around normally. Now, even more worries about like, okay, when will the world get back to normal? Let's pray. There's less death today. Okay, there's more. What are we going to do? Stay at home. Like, carry on next day. Wake up. Eat, sleep, repeat. <laughs> uh, speak with friends in between. Have some banter, make a video. Um, obviously before there's more choice. Like, you've got less choice in what you can do. Which, for me, is better sometimes. Because the more choices I've got, I can't decide. I'm very indecisive with simple things like literally if I want to decide what I'm going to do for an hour between gaming or reading a book or something, it'll probably be gaming in the end but I'll think that through for way too long and make a thing out of it and I will have lost half an hour thinking about what I actually want to do um, and then before you had the option of going out filming a video or making a video at home or just doing a live stream now it's more refined so, for my crazy brain thinking about 800 different things at once, old and new in the past, I'm living in the past sometimes, I'm a bit of a daydreamer, <laughs> I get that from dad I think. It's a gift and a curse, but I'm quite optimistic, but kind of realistic at the same time, but this situation, like, it's going to last a long time, might come back next winter, I don't know, don't take my word for it. But yeah. I think I've had my rant for the day. I hope you guys have taken some insight or not, or just laughed along the way. This camera has stopped about three times. It hasn't run out of battery though yet. I need to get new batteries for this. But yeah, I want to end it here to be honest. Um, stay safe guys. Go on your one exercise a day. Walk, cycle, whatever. I mean, funny story, I saw a girl cycle up and down the road about eight times in one day. Like, in one... Like, I don't know if it was one out, one exercise, or she left the house twice, probably not. But you see Boris running after people, you know what I mean? With the memes. <laughs> but yeah, stay fit if you can. I I'm going to keep eating, and vlogging, and doing whatever. And want to get rid of this neck, chin, fat I've got going on. You can see when I do this. So I'm always like this. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys, I'll see you next week on another episode, whatever you want to call it, podcast, chat, banter, realism, a voice, it's weird, an hour takes a lot out of your voice, or my, mine, it's gone, good time to end really, thank you guys, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do next, but yeah, that's it for me. Stay healthy, clap for the NHS, keep that two metre distance when you're out there. <laughs> Crazy times. But we'll get through it, or we'll try. Um, I know I will. <laughs> it's a matter of time. Time is what will solve this, guys. Just remember that. And thank you, guys. All 100 of you, I'm really grateful. Come a long way in three years. It's been fun. It's going to be even more fun. Stay up, stay humble, stay 
fit. I don't know. That's enough. <laughs> Peace. Finito. Finished. Done. Don't know how you say it in Spanish. Probably same. Ah.